all right? Janet was worried. What are you doing here? We... we heard shots. I fired in the air to warn them off, that's all. Damn pests. They think because the mine's on the map, they can walk in and explore the lower levels without anyone knowing. I thought the lower levels were blocked. Who told you that? Well, I heard there was a cave in years ago. Well, I told him. There's nothing secret about it. Everyone knows. You'd best get back. I'll wedge some timber across and fix it properly in the morning. Mr. Garrity, if it's dangerous or blocked, why did you have to warn him off with a rifle? Because I don't like intruders. Do you know who they were? I think that's enough questions. A couple of drifters and a white ute. What difference does it make? We'll see you back at the homestead. Right. What was all that about? Well, it may be a coincidence, but a few days ago in town I heard that someone driving a white utility had been asking questions about Golden Soak. I don't think that's coincidence. I get the feeling that your father knew them. Yes. Well, so do I. I've been scared of something like this. For a man who says his mind's worthless. I know. What were you saying about Rosa? What did you mean? That you didn't get away with it? Well, with leaving her. I hope she didn't know I was in Australia. That isn't what you meant. Come in. The report's nearly finished. Once you've signed it, I'll get it on tonight's plane. Thanks for staying late, Mac. Shut the door and have a drink. What we know on Alec Hamilton is not for circulation. That's why we sit on this. The less anyone knows, the better. You're going to use him? Use? I'm going to help him. He must be short of money. He can't take a job with any of the multinationals. Uh, that would mean references. Cross-checking with London. So he needs help. How do you get in touch? Mm. I know where he is. That's no problem. Cooler, now. Um, yes. Wait. Name's Sam. Janet about? He's making dinner. Alec. I'd like you to do me a favor. What is it? Find an excuse to leave here. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> Prospecting? At night? <laughs> now, why would I do a fool thing like that? Sorry, it was a bit potluckish. Tomorrow night, Alec will have a slap-up welcoming dinner. I think tomorrow I'd best be moving on. Oh, no. Not so soon. Well, I've got to get a job. <laughs> you can stay for a while longer. Dad, tell him he must. I dare say 
Alec knows his own mind. And we're busy, what with the cattle and the drought. It's not much fun for a visitor. Fun? It's hardly fun for anyone. You're tired. We all are. Reckon an early night. the mind. Is that what bothers you? I told you to forget the mind. It's closed. Finished. Yet there's something down there you're trying to protect. The way you acted going after those men with a gun. Or is that normal behavior? I don't want people around those shafts. The mind's jinxed. I don't believe that. Believe what you like. It's killed men and ruined this place. It's been jinxed ever since McElroy discovered it. Who? Pat McElroy. Never mind, it's not important. Try to understand, Alec. I don't like doing things like this. Then why? Janet? I don't want her mixed up in some domestic tangle. I may be old-fashioned. I expect I am. But I told you, I've left Rosa. And why did Rosa ring up? You are two days in the country and she phones from 12,000 miles away. I can't explain that. Hmm. Ed. Trust me. Why should I? You didn't come here because of any new mining boom, Alec. You're running away. I don't need to know why or what you're running from. Australia's always been a bolt hole. For men like you, men who hitch rides and travel light, and clutch at straws. Forget the mine, Alec. Forget us. There's nothing for you here. Jarabinder, after all you told me. After all that? Well, it's turned out to be a disappointment, hasn't it? It and me. That's not true, Jan. Isn't it? Oh, Alec. I know I can't compare with Rosa. She wants you back, doesn't she? I don't know what she wants. You've no idea what it's meant having you here. Seems childish, really. Your being here would change things. Bring us luck. 
You see, Alec, I can't cope any longer. And Dad's beaten. In a few months or... or even weeks, we'll have to sell or... or walk off this place. And the dust and the crows will be here. And it will be as if... nobody ever lived here. Flying. You're going to lift from here up to Port Head and the Marble Bar. Let me know where you end up. Jan. Look. I've got to get back to help with the cattle. Goodbye, Alec. Bye. You'd be Alec Hamilton. Fresh out from the old country, aren't you? Staying with the Garretys, at least you was. Is that what they call a bush telegraph? We don't miss much around here. Are you wanting a lift somewhere? Not at the moment. I'm looking for two men who drive a white utility. Are you now? I'm Felicity Clark. People call me Prophecy. So you're interested in Golden Soak? I just want to find those two men, that's all. <laughs> oh, come on, you think I'm daft? They're a mining man. I've mixed with them all my life. You've married one. You had a look in their eye like a dog chasing a bone. Take one. Stop them ears at the bar flapping. Don't show me. Ten of spades. Your interest in the mine. 
For yourself or Janet? What's that to do with you? Something's I like her. She's had a rough deal. Mother walked up when she was a baby. Her old man's about at the end of his rope. I wouldn't like to see her fiddle by some smart ass. That's what's called putting your cards on the table. <laughs> Tell your fortune, too. That's why they call me prophecy. And you wouldn't like that. I might get it right. Where do I find the men with the truck? Said I'd help you for the price of a drink. I ain't finished yet. Wally? This is Mr. Hamilton, wants to talk to you. About last night at Golden Soap. And a man called Westrop. Better sit down, you don't look too good. I got a hangover. Might earn yourself a beer if you tell us about last night. Given up the grog? That'll be the day. <laughs> Prophecy tells me you worked in that mine as a boy 30 years ago. Before the cave-in. So? So that's why Westrop took you with him last night. Ask him. I don't have to. You'd know your way down through the levels. Not me. No way in. Mine's finished. Then why were you out there? Just tell me what he was after. You ask him. Bad place. Bad spirits, never mind. The bulldozer at the open cut. But you'll be in later for a drink. About the guarantees, Golden State? Yeah, McElroy. Who was this McElroy? He was a prospector, partner of old man Garrity's, Ed's father. What happened to him? I think you want to. Thanks. I'll see you around. Yeah. Well, he's got a message. I'll take it to see Phil. Where is he? Not far. Nobody else. Just you. All right, Wally. I don't like it. Be careful. Westrop. I just want to talk to you. 
Did Garrity send you? Not exactly. I was there last night. You go back and tell that old bastard. The next time I'll come armed. And if he pulls a gun on me, I... <sighs> you just tell him. He owns the mine. He would trespass him. Well, maybe now he owns it, but uh, not for long. They broke. Soon the whole lot will be up for grabs. You're after Golden Soap, is that it? He knows what I'm after. But the gold's finished. Who said anything about gold? Then what were you looking for? You really want to know? I was looking for McElroy. <laughs> you go back to your pal Garrity and tell him that. Oh, he'll laugh. He'll laugh himself sick. <laughs> And try to move. Who's moving? How'd I get here? I found you. This is the hotel? My place. You're in my bed. Oh, God. Don't worry. I won't try to take advantage. It's my head, not my virtue. I'm worried about it. I told you to be careful. You got beaten up and you learnt nothing. I wouldn't exactly say that. Why? What'd you find out? He said Ed Garrity knew what he was after. He was looking for McElroy. It's crazy. McElroy's been dead for 30 years. I think it's time I had looked down Golden Sir. Not tonight. You get some rest first. <laughs> It's all history now. Pat McElroy was an Irishman with the gift of the gab. I can just remember him when I first come up here after the war. Jaunty little fella, full of bounce and bullshit. A partner of the Garrity's. Yeah, for a while, until Ed's father, Big Bill Garrity, died. Ed couldn't stand him. Why was that? Well, he blamed him for all the money wasted at Golden Soak and the cave-in. But the partnership was legal. He couldn't do anything about it. What happened? Well, McElroy was a gambling man. He heard a story from an old Aborigine about a copper mountain out in the Gibson Desert. McElroy's monster? Yeah. That's what he called it. That's what got the newspaper headlines, that name. They thought it had a romantic sound to it. All those years ago, people still remember McElroy's monster. Did he go looking for it? So they said. Nobody ever knew the real truth. They found his truck out in the desert. They never found his body. And they never found a copper mountain. They never will now. Copper mountain. Where the fortune of it exists. Forget it. The monster's a myth, a local legend. Like all the rumors around here. What rumors? Maybe McElroy didn't die out there in the Gibson. That maybe Ed Garrity killed him, buried him at Golden Soak. you weren't worried. We found some old stragglers through the gap. I thought we'd come out and finish up today. I thought that. Need any help? No, nah, we'll be right. Alec, get off. Yeah. He'll be in Port Hedland or Marble Bar by now. Right, he'll be okay. He wasn't our sort, Janet. Relax. Nobody about.
if this fits. Used to be me old man's. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're about the same size. And better looking. Thanks. What do you expect to find? McElroy, I'll bet. Bad spirits, Wally said. Nate says it's jinxed. Scared? Ladder to the first level. And then what? Wooden. How the survivors got back. After all these years, be rotten. Oh, don't rot so easy in this crowd. Well, that looks solid enough. every half hour. An hour goes by and you don't hear. Better go for help. Here, put that lamp on.
I wanted to have a look. Damn it, you know the rules. One up top. All right. Find anything? It's valueless. No old reef's been mined out. There's major faulting in most of the tunnels. Oh. Any use going further down? I'll try one more level. Go on. Go back. Now mind yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Any luck in tracing Alec Hamilton? No, Jarabinder still isn't answering. Damn it, he must be somewhere. Try Rogers at Mount Newman, see if he's there. Yes, Mr. Caddick. How about Nullagine? Try them all. Just find him.
Scientific prophecy. We made it. Complete with samples. Sorry. It's not prophecy. We'd better get out of here and fix the entrance. That's what you wanted, wasn't it, Alec? To fix it so that no one would know you'd been here. Tell you, Jan. Were you? If I hadn't driven past and seen the truck, are you sure you would have told me? It was a chance to have a look down there. Look down on the third level, where I found the reef again. Right where the cave in happened. The poor bastards hit it. Didn't live to tell. There's gold in the samples. And how many answers to the ton? I can't tell until we get it analyzed. Trust me, will you? I thought I could. Did you find anything else down there? No. Birdie. I said no interruptions, Mac. Unless you've got Hamilton on the line. Not yet. There's still time. But there's someone to see you. Make an appointment. I'm busy. I think you'll make an exception for this one, Ferdy. Would you come in, please? Hello, Mr. Kadek. You remember me? Rosa Hamilton. What was it like down there, Alec? Creepy. Believe in ghosts? No. Something's shaking you? Oh, Janet finding us. Nah, I'm smarter than that. Can I count on you, Prophecy? You've been in my bed, ain't you? And you're the first bloke's been there since Nobby kicked off. What did you find down there, apart from that reef? Footprints, new ones. And a pick and shovel. They weren't old either. Bill Westrop? I don't think so. Ed Garrity? Maybe. Not McElroy, I can assure you of that. Those prints were made by somebody alive. Not so long ago either. Prophecy! Would his name be Alec Hamilton? It would be. There's a phone call for him. I've had quite a time finding you. I've got some news. Oh, what news, Freddy? I've found a job for you. A Sydney company wants you to check out a nickel find, if you can be in Kalgoorlie tomorrow. You can. Great. There'll be a room booked, and we'll refund the airfare when you arrive. <laughs> Don't thank me, Alec. Glad to be of help. By the way, I suppose you checked out Golden Soak? And found it a dead loss, like I told you? Yes, yes, you were right. Nothing to it. Not worth bothering about. Well, I'll see you in Kalgoorlie. Keep well, Alec. Goodbye. Thank you. Strange. What is? Talking to a man who believes his wife's on the other side of the world. That's what I want him to go on believing. If I were to take you to dinner tonight, would you tell me why? Why didn't you tell me it was down there? Did I have to find out for myself? I didn't want to upset you. How did you find out? Prophecy told one of her pals in town, and next thing, it's all around the district. 
He took samples, didn't he? He's taking them to the geophysics lab in Kalgoorlie. Dad, if the mine is worth anything, it'll save us. Dreams, Janet, dreams. We've had them all before. Dreams and mining men. You can't trust either. Headland, catching a plane to Kalgoorlie. Uh-huh. You went down Golden Circle. <laughs> Not me, mate. He did. What did he find? Had a few samples. Said it gave him the creeps. That's all he'd tell me. What was you expecting him to find? Don't worry. I'll find it myself. Microscope and knob is any good? Yep. Proves what I thought. There's gold and antimony. Bottoms dropped out of the antimony market. Currently. But if the gold assays at seven ounces, the price is five times what it was when that mine was abandoned. You'd have to test drill. Takes time and money. Yeah. Westrop was looking for you. I told him he'd gone. Thanks. Well, we'll put a hole in this and then we'll go to bed. Let me in there, you here on the sofa. What's this job you've got for him in Kalgoorlie? A mining survey. It'll put some money in his pocket. And even more in yours. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have dinner with an attractive woman, especially one who has no illusions about me. How did you find out about Alec? A telex to a contact who made some discreet inquiries. Are the police satisfied? I think so. He's not important enough to raise a fuss about it. They'd rather believe he's dead. And why didn't you believe it, Rosa? Oh, I know Alec. It wasn't really difficult to work out. I always knew he would come out here one day. Ever since you heard about that mine. Golden Silk? Yes. Don't pin your hopes on that. It's what we call a fizzle. And don't you underestimate Alec. If there's anything there, he'll find it. And if he should, he's got his wife back. We'll see. It's what's called keeping your options open. That's why you're here. Do you think I let some chit of a girl take over my husband? If he happens to strike it rich? Suppose, just suppose, 
He's ungallant enough mm, not to want you back. <laughs> Come on, Ferdy. That's up to me, isn't it? When are you going to see him? When it suits me. And in the meantime? Well, I'll miss you. I haven't enjoyed myself so much since Nobby snuffed us. I'll be back. Alec, got any money? Does it show? No, I'll manage. But thanks for asking. Time, Ferdy. Good. Help yourself to a drink, Chris. Thanks. It's good to be on something together again. It'll be a breeze, this one. Hope so. What about this pommy? What about him? Well, they said he had degrees and things. Suppose he doesn't go along with us. Suppose he uh, causes trouble. Chris, did I ever steer you wrong? No. Then relax. You don't have to worry about Alec. He'll do exactly. 